Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that information in the description box below. So what is passing Capricorn and their person? Oh my goodness. A lot, I feel like a lot has happened in regards to your feelings for each other, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, what is this person's energy towards Capricorn? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. What is Capricorn's? Ooh, and we got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. What is Capricorn's energy towards their person? Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. What is the external energy here? Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. And the outcome. What is the outcome for Capricorn and their person? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay. So, in your past, I feel like this is somebody who is pretty new in your life. If um, you're not dealing with anybody, I do feel like you will be meeting somebody uh, pretty soon. And I do have like soulmate vibes. I feel like this person that you're dealing with, um, they feel like the potential for you to be true love in their life is there. So they want to get to know you better. And as they get to know you, I feel like they really see the potential that this could last a lifetime with you. And um, for some of you, this is somebody who you've been manifesting in your life. Uh, prayers, affirmations, or visualizations, or even scripting for some of you, I'm hearing. And I feel like you've been calling in this person. Um, this person here, or somebody here, has been putting in the work and effort and feeling like this connection needs some work as well in the past when it comes to feelings, but definitely some, something that you're starting to see results in and you're starting to see things balancing out here and opening up to a brand new chapter and a whole new beginning with each other uh, with the world card. So I definitely feel like um, you and this person can be very opposite people for some of you. Um, Something's very different about you. It could be your race for some of you, but you're both, or somebody here is wanting to balance this out and compromise and put in the effort that's needed here because feelings are starting, or feelings have already, or they're starting to um, solidify here. And for some of you, you guys haven't even talked about it, but it's it's happening. It's definitely happening. And you can notice this through their actions. With the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles is somebody who, who shows you through their actions and their investment and their effort and time. So this will resonate if you've been seeing that through their actions. And your person sees you uh, as somebody who makes them very happy. They see you as... Their happiness, emotional fulfillment with the Nine of Cups here. And you make, you, you satisfy them. You do satisfy them and they're very happy with you. I feel like um, they're starting to move past a phase of confusion. So for some of you, I feel like your person at first, like as they were getting to know you, they weren't really sure about where things were going and they were confused about their feelings for you, but they're starting to realize that you are a wish fulfillment and you're somebody that they've been waiting for. Um, you're somebody that they've been daydreaming about even. So this person daydreams about you. They think about you a lot because they, they have feelings for you and they're starting to 
see all of the opportunities and the things that you guys can can do together here with each other so tell me about calling in your soulmate calling in okay we have the moon card for you and sorry i saw sagittarius earlier so you could be dealing with a sagittarius and pisces or libra i also saw so with the moon card you have some some doubts for some of you you have some doubts that this could be your soulmate but the reality is, is that this is something that you've been manifesting but i feel like it's your fears that are kind of getting in the way of this um of this connection and you're starting to get clarity so you're looking for for clarity you're looking for the truth here you're searching for answers and I feel like you're you will get your answers so this person will prove to you that this is what you've been wanting uh, that you've been manifesting here it's, I feel like right now your intuition is is trying to guide you and you're beginning to think about your your feelings for this person here and the new possibilities with this person because this is somebody who's a brand new into your life here this is somebody who you're starting to have feelings for and as this is starting to happen and you're starting to realize like I'm starting to catch feelings for this person it's it's starting to to scare you I feel and you're starting to get in your head about it tell me about codependency tell me about codependency eight of cups so somebody here has abandonment issues and this is somebody so this is something that gets in the way of connections because as soon as uh, somebody here and for some of you I really I feel like it might be you because you're the one showing up with the moon card and your fears so this is something that is affecting the connection here because on your person's side like they, they definitely see you as a wish fulfillment and they're staying put here they're not it doesn't look like they're going anywhere and they're very much they have good intentions with you and they don't want to do anything that will ruin this connection because they're definitely starting to see you as their true love or the potential of their of being true love with you but as soon as you start to feel like this person's gonna leave me and I feel like that's when you start to get in your head and then you start to think obsessively like is this person talking to other people do they have other options uh, should I walk away and it all comes down to your inner child here with children definitely something that could have happened as, when you were a child I'm hearing when you were seven for some of you that has caused these abandonment issues and you could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio here but I definitely feel as though because of these abandonment issues you're you're starting to feel like um, let me just give a little but not too much with the page of Pentacles um, and you really get in your head about this but you're you're dealing with somebody who is very mature with the king of cups here and it doesn't really it doesn't really match up when you're giving um when your energy is lower is at a lower vibration than this person because your person has good intentions and they really want to open up their heart to you and be somebody that you can trust but you don't want to give it looks like you don't want to give too much here when it comes to this connection like you see the value in this but you're for some of you you're the one that's fickle here like you're the one that's kind of like uh, maybe you ignore them for something or maybe you're you're just like observing them for I feel like you're you're observing this person because you don't want to get 
you don't want to you don't want this person to leave you is how I'm feeling and the thing is if this is your mindset with the magician things are starting to manifest very strongly right now things are starting to manifest very strongly right now and if this is your mindset going into this then the, the potential for this situation to end up in in somebody walking away is strong with a magician right now this is the energy surrounding this card so it's really important to kind of get out of your own head here tell me about children you have the ace of cups so in your outcome your outcome is looking really good here with this person this is a brand new beginning in love here your person is starting to um, fall in love with you from what I see here and I feel like you're gonna you're gonna get the clarity that you need when it comes to this and I feel like you're going somebody here is and is going to be ending up moving away from this mindset that um, this person has other options or have to compete for this person or they might leave me. I definitely feel as though things will start to balance balance out here. Um, you could have met this person six weeks ago, I'm hearing, but there's a new beginning in love. Feelings are starting to get stronger and for some of you, you or this person may have children or you might get pregnant by this person down the line. But there's a lot of passion between you guys and I feel like you are starting to move away um, from this mindset of this person's going to leave me or this person is, is going to choose somebody else over me or they're giving their attention and energy to somebody else here. And that all comes from this, this thought of abandonment. What else is going on here with Capricorn and their person? This is your soulmate here. This is your soulmate and this is what you've been manifesting in your life. So it's time to get out of your head about this. I feel like the reason why you're get, you're kind of in your head about this situation is because um, things are kind of up in the air with open relationship. Like you guys know you have feelings for each other. You know it's there and you know the potential for a relationship is there for you. But um, because things aren't official, this is something that's starting to scare you. You might be thinking like this person is looking elsewhere. You or this person could be a mature woman. Or this person sees you as somebody who's very um, wise or mature for their age. And I feel like for some of you, um, there was something in the past that happened. And... The timing between, maybe the timing between you guys just wasn't right. Things ended off quickly and this is something that has caused these abandonment issues because maybe it's happened before with this person. Maybe it wasn't totally secure or you've been in a short term. Your relationships in the past have been pretty short term so um, you're like starting to think that if the relationships in the past didn't work out maybe this one won't will not either but this is true love look at that this is your outcome this is a beautiful outcome here this is the love that will last a lifetime so this is unconditional love as well here so you're being gifted for these these disappointing situations in the past here and definitely this is this is a true love this is how your person is feeling this is your person's energy towards you and 
I feel like there needs to be a conversation about this if it hasn't happened already because I feel like you know intuitively that you both have um, strong feelings for each other but you haven't really said it or you're starting to doubt it but it's there it's very much there for you and you have a new beginning with in true love here with this person so is there anything else that we need to know about this connection Is there anything else that we need to know about this connection? We have not the right time, big happy changes, and a year from now. So I feel like right now somebody could be very much focused on their career and focused on making things work with their stability or the stability in this connection here and in the past it wasn't the right time I feel like a year from now there's going to be a really big happy change here that you've been waiting for once these abandonment issues um, get dealt with so that's what I'm getting for you if you like this reading Please comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated, and I hope that you found guidance and clarity in your situation. Thank you for watching. Bye.